Hello everyone. Next we will see how to insert data into SQLite database in Android. So first we uh, define you know main activity that is a dot class file. Here we define the different types of access specifier uh, using the different types of access specifier that is a private. So first define the edit text while gate. Here define the names that is a name edit address edit and mobile edit. Next again define the private button wide gate access specifier is the button. Then accessing the name edit using find view by id r dot id specific id name. Here is the ID name, state name, then again address edit is equal to find the UI, ID R dot ID, ID name, mobile edit, find the UI ID, R dot ID, and the ID name. Then button. So button is equal to find view by ID, yeah, ID name. Then next is we call this submit button and we add the methods of event handling that is set on click listener, new view dot on click listener. This is a simple method on click. Here we define string get type name is equal to take the values of user so name edit dot get text method and dot to string again define string address edit address dot get text here we change um, that is the get text delete this then again string while while it is dot get text dot list create a class for a database helper class that is a SQL like open helper class we extend the main class SQL like open helper look for First, we define the class that is object database helper, db helper. And then next, Then next is the implement the class the given for extend SQLite the given. Implements the methods and construct. Simply different types of methods. First we delete this. And set con constructor in context and uh, define the database name that is public, static, final, string, database name, declaration of the database name, which is a double inverted commas student dot. We give the extension of dot db to the database. Next, again define the table name. 
specific table name that is info then again define public static final integer database version this type of version we can use in our project Next, simply copy and paste public static final, define the string and column to access the columns, first name, then address and mobile number using column 1, column 2, column 3. Then we define database name and all values and database version okay. the next key. and again define the different types of methods on create methods we define the queries create table in table name then define the different types of columns that is the name text address text and mobile text again then define on a grid here we pass the query drop table we exist this query is used for if this type of table already exists in our project then it automatically drop this table next go to the main activity here we define boolean data type then define a variable check data is equal to db helper class dot define as method that is insert user. This method is implemented in the DB helper class. So we pass name, addresses, and mobile. Here we define control structure here and check the condition. Check the data is double equal to true. Then simply print a statement that is a using post dot make text and into our main activity the main activity class dot this and print data inserted comma that is a to set the length short the statement is a short length and show it again in else if data not inserted then again print text so here we copy this Paste it. Simply change data not inserted. If data not inserted, then this statement is true. Again, create the methods in a db helper class. And here we define the SQLite database. Create the object db is equal to this dot get writable database method. This method is used for getting the database. Again, define the contain values class. Here, we define the object and equal to new contain values. And contain values object dot with method follow one that is the name and pass the name. Again, contain values dot put second column address. Then third column contain values dot put. The contain values of um, classes are used for defining the database in a column box. So contain values that is again check the condition. So long the result is equal to object db dot insert first table name, then null values and the pass the contain values. And check the condition if result is equal to double equal to minus one then return false 
again in this condition return simply change here we are accessing the column so define column 1 column 2 and column 3 change this ok run the project the emulator project is run insert the values submit to the data data is inside 